In this video, I'll walk you through some of the nuances of moving a very simple little ASA store procedure over to HANA. So here's something that's called SP Sandwich Sales, and I'll drag that store procedure onto the property sheet where we can see the create procedure. And let me maximize this view. And basically, aside from the comments here, which basically what it does is it defines a result set of our car and uh, an integer and then it does a select statement the results are returned and there will be a list of sandwich types and the total sales for each sandwich type and I call the store from procedure from within a power Bolder data window here's the data window I'll just open her up and I'll bang the retrieve button and there's 600,000 some odd rows in, in the table at this moment and I'll just do a retrieve it's doing its job now we don't see anything here it did its work because everything here is shown in the view in fact I'll run the application now just to show you how it works in my application I'm sharing uh, this data windows result set with a graph data window. Uh, let me run that so you can see the result. So here's the app and I'm going to connect to ASA and I'll click on the sales report and there it is. That's the data that was returned. Looks like I figured out my mix and people buy all the various sandwiches that I like about equally. So that's pretty good. We're uh, managing the business pretty well. So this report is driven by uh, this store procedure. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this store procedure to the clipboard and I'm going to paste it in in HANA because I want that store procedure to be part of my HANA database scheme. Alright, here it is, pasted in the store procedure and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the execute button to create the store procedure. I got an error. Syntax error. Incorrect syntax near result. Well guess what the syntax of the store procedure is different in HANA than it is in ASA so what I'm going to do is I'll delete the result line and now I'll try to execute it again and I got another one incorrect syntax now near begin oh my what's the problem now well in HANA we need a keyword so I've put in the word as and now I'll hit it again and oh okay well now we're getting some problem my next problem is incorrect syntax near right paren well I guess over here I need to have a count star so let's try it now okay we're getting somewhere invalid column name sandwich name oh well I guess we can't use an alias for a column so I'll take that out and now if I do this again I'll bet you I got mm -hmm, invalid column name solid by okay so I can't use the group by by the alias name well I should have fixed that before all right now it's successfully executed life is good now I'll right click on procedure and I'll do a refresh and there's my procedure and now let's let's call the procedure there are my results life is good there's the sequel there's the result we created a store procedure in HANA we fumbled our way through migrating this procedure case in point if you're migrating from another DBMS to HANA you need to be well aware of all of the nuances and differences in SQL syntax. Here we are in our application and I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to connect using my SSSS user ID so the schema will be implied um, and I'm going to use call my store procedure I'll go click on the sales report now and voila there's the daters so we created a store procedure in HANA which mimicked the results of the store procedure that was in ASA connected to the HANA database and the application ran with um, 
without having any particular changes, Data Window just did its call and it got its result and displayed it as a graph. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you.